All right, so this is first fish academy. Today happens to be the second day of December 2021. 0 2 1 2 2021. And then, as I said earlier, I want to tell you on this topic how to calculate your crude protein CP how to calculate the crude protein the crude protein in your locally made feed when you say men feed, it can be your poultry feed, it can be your fish feed, it can be your any feed at all, alright? about uh, 48 percent all right and then you're talking about your maize your maize here has 12 uh, 12 percent crude protein so for your fish after we have known the, their content in terms of because mind you what we are finding here is crude protein we are not looking for carbohydrate we are not looking for every other source of anything or source of uh, uh, anything here, nutrients. All we are looking for is the crude protein, the CP, CP. All right? So, for our fish meal, we are going to use 25% to prepare this fish. To prepare this fish. 25 kg, sorry. 25 kg. And then for our soya bean, we are going to use 30 kg. 30 kg. All right? For GNC, we are going to use uh, 20 kg. 20 kg. All right. So for maize, for maize here, yeah, we're going to use uh, we're going to use uh, um, 25 25 kg. 25 kg. All right. So you can pick up your calculator. This is what we want to add up right now. Let's see how many uh, kg of fish feed that we want to produce in this place. So I'm going to use my calculator and I say 25 plus uh, 30 plus um, 20 plus uh, 25. So what we are having here is a total of uh, 100 kg. Total of 100 kg. 100 kg of uh, feed. Of, of, uh, that's what we want to produce right here. All right, so in this 100 kg, what the raw materials that we are putting together, how many kg, how many percentage of crude protein is as contained in this 100 kg of feed that we are about to produce? All right, so to so, find the crude protein, CP, CP, therefore, CP, therefore, is equal to X. Divided by 100 times your Y divided by 1 is equal to CP. 
all right? S divided by 100 times Y divided by 1 is equal to your CP. Don't forget that this is your X. Don't forget that um, the percentage of CP group pattern is your X. All right, and then this is your Y. This group percentage per material is the X. All right, so first of all, we're going to start with your fish meal. All right, I'm going to represent fish meal with FM. All right, and then we now have your 72, 72 divided by 100 times your 25 divided by 1 and then for your soya beans I'm going to re represent that by SB and then you have your 47 percent or 47 yeah, divided by 100 times your uh, uh, 30 over divided by 1 and then for your GNC GNC I'm going to represent that by GNC and then you have your 48 percent divided by 100 times your um, uh, 20 divided by 1 and then for your mains, a papa mains, you're gonna have uh, your 12 divided by 100 times your 25 over 1. All right, so we are going up. I'm taking this, what we've just done in here, so we're gonna take it up. So, because my board is not that big, I'm gonna clean all this. All right. If you don't, if you did not get it, all you need to do is for you to go, go back, uh, scroll back, you know, move backward, not forward, move backward, so that you can see how we managed to have this. All right. So this time around, you're also going to pick up your calculator. Calculator is important. So for CP, for FM, FM, we have. I'm going to be very fast, and then I'm going to also bring out. My, my SB, SB don't forget is for soya beans, all right, FM, I told you earlier it's for fish meal, and then you have your GNC, and then you have our maize, have our maize here, all right, don't forget what I'm trying to bring out, I'm trying to bring out um, the answers here, all right, so we know our crude protein in percentage. So, um, 72, 72, oh, I, I think I can, um, I think I'm blocking, let me start this way, 72 divided by 100, divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.72, 0 0.72 times, then you also have uh, 25 divided by 1, 25 Divided by one, and you have uh, uh, you have twenty-five, twenty-five, and then for and then the, and then uh, for for your for your soya beans, we have uh, you have forty-seven. I'm going to be very fast because my camera battery is running down. I have my uh, forty-seven divided by 100 is equal to 0, 0 0.47 47 times uh, we have uh, 30 divided by 1 is equal to 30 divided by 1 is equal to 30 all right and we also have 30 and then we have our 48 48 divided by 100 by 100 we have 0 0.48 all right, 0 0.48 times, and then you have here your 20. Um, that is uh, 20 divided by 1. And then we have your 12, which is 0 0.12 times your 25. All right, so all these, if you put it together, don't forget I'm still using my uh, calculator. All right. So if you put this together, you have 0 0.0.72 times 
times 25. You know what you're having here? Your CP here for is equal to 18. Oh my God, don't allow. We we'll have your 18% here, all right, of your CP. Here remains CP, and then I'm going to be very fast, as I said earlier, and then for your soya beans, we'll have uh, 0, 0, 0. 0. 0. 0.47 times, uh, times 30 is equal to 14.1, uh, 14.1 here, and then for for your GNC, we have uh, zero, zero point, zero point four eight, four eight uh, times uh, twenty is equal to nine point six, nine point six, and then uh, the last one will have zero point one two times your twenty five. You have three. Three, three percent, and then um, I want to be sure I did not make mistake here. So, what is um, four seven times thirty? All right, I did not make any mistake. All right, so having uh, gotten the percentage of crude protein in each of the material to be used for production, all you need to do is for you to add up. So I'm going to clean this right now. All right. I'm going to clean this. So you bring it down. You have your 18. Oh my God. My marker is down. You have your 18 plus 14.1 plus 9.6 plus 3. All right. Is equal to. Uh, if you put that together, I know a lot of people uh, have your 18 uh, plus. 14.1 plus 9.6 plus 3 is equal to 47 is equal to 44 44.7 so in that quantity of materials used for production having uh, given the quantity in kg and in, uh, the crude protein per kg. We've now arrived at the answer that the crude protein, the CP, is equal to the CP for the production of 100 kg. Having put your uh, your CP for the total, that is total, total, total CP is therefore equal to. Uh, 44.7% in that production. That is how to calculate your crude protein for pig production. No matter what, it must not be fish, it must not be soya beans, it must not be GNC, it must not be bait beans. But the fact is that know the crude protein for each of these raw materials. So if you like to this end, we've therefore gotten our answer that the total quantity or total quantity of crude protein in percentage in what we have just produced is 44.7 percent if you are therefore satisfied with this can you please if you are new click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel